Hello, this is Scott Barrett, and in this short training video, I am going to show you how to verify a phone number um, to make sure that it's um, okay to call and solicit, or if it's on the do not call list. Let's begin. I'm in the new back office website, and I have two ways that I can go and search. One is we have quick links, so I'll click on quick links. And then we have several categories. Where we want to go is down under resources, um, <clears throat> here at the bottom center. Search do not call list. Click here, and then it comes up with a search bar. This is a database that's um, linked directly to the national do not call list. So I can enter a phone number in here. Um, and you do not put the dashes. If you can see, we have um, an explanation above it. So I, I'm going to search two different phone numbers. I'm going to show you what happens here. First number is 727-514-8866. That is the phone number. I'm going to hit search. And it comes back in green, and it basically says, that this phone number is not listed with the do not call registry, okay to call. So that is a, a good phone number um, that you would be able to call um, the, the, um, the property owner and discuss an opportunity. Here is another, I'm gonna put in another phone number, 727, again, no dashes, 243-3664. And I'm going to click search. And this one comes back in red. Uh, this phone number is listed with the do not call registry. Do not call. Do not solicit by phone. So you can see when somebody's not on the do not call list, you'll get it in green. It will say okay to call. If somebody is on the do not call registry, um, then it will inform you not to call that number. I'll show you an alternative way to find things in the back office website such as this, and that is the search button at the top um, over here. I can click search, and then I can go to a specific category, or I can just put in some sort of keyword. In this case, I'm going to put do, do not call, and then I'm going to click search. It basically comes back and gives me a link to the Do Not Call Registry search on the website. Um, I'm going to go through this one more time, and I'm going to show you the values of the search button. And that is, I can put in another keyword that um, may be associated with this particular type of, uh, of need. So I can put in FISBO, for instance, hit search. And again, I get the do not call registry um, because typically that's that's who we're calling on FISBOs or expired listings. So I've not only showed you how to use the do not call um, database to check a phone number, but how to find that um, search in the back office website. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you and please watch others.